All right, it is Wednesday, January 3rd, 2024, and today I was 1-0. Um, had a big down move in the pre-market. Uh, I started around 645, 650, uh, somewhere around this area, and um, I didn't see any trades early on. There was uh, a news event at seven, so I wasn't able to trade right when I started because I was waiting for the news to happen. And uh, then there was a big sell-off. And through all of this, I just wasn't seeing anything I was liking. Um, there were a lot of setups that I saw, um, and I think just about all of them would have worked, um, but just nothing I was comfortable with. Uh, so I didn't get a trade until about a little after 11 o'clock today on this chart. And uh, because it was so late in the day, 11 o'clock, like I said, um, I decided not to trade my PA account. So uh, I did something a little different. I just traded uh, the evaluation number 30 that expires on the 12th. And, uh, and then I had two evals that I hadn't traded at all yet. So I used those two just to get... Uh, trade on the board on those and the day counted and so I uh, only traded those three accounts for this trade so uh, let me zoom in here and we'll take a look at it oh and I should mention that um, uh, $408 combined on the three evaluation accounts for that win so let me take this off oops not that one um this one and uh, basically here what I was thinking was uh, we had clear two legs down and um, somewhat of a kind of range like pattern here I have an indicator that just draws this range automatically so it's not something that I drew but I was aware of it and so if you extend this line you know what it looked like to me was uh, first entry long and a second entry long and we're back inside of that so I figured we were good at least to the top of that which we didn't get, quite get to um, but uh, it gave me confidence in the trade nice strong signal bar and uh, let me switch over I'll show you the, the live trade recording of it so I was thinking uh, you know if this bar where to finish, oh, it's not playing. Let's pause here, I'll figure this out. All right, so I've got this playing now. Uh, so when I was watching this, I was kind of seeing that we were back inside of here, and I figured if this finished as a bullish bar, um, I should be good for 11 ticks with plenty of room to the top here. So we'll just watch this play out. There I've got my order dropped on the chart, and when it goes one tick above, uh, either on engulf engulfing, I'll be in on a uh, stop market order, or if this uh, bar closes like it does right there, um, I got the stop order moved one tick above that signal bar. And this I really felt confident in. The chart was good all day. It was constantly working for 11 ticks even on trades that looked like bad trades and uh, this was you know in my book this looked like a great trade we had already made a new low we got a higher low above the EMA Took a while for it to finally work up, but then as you see, once I got in the trade, uh, it was open and closed within just a couple seconds. Um, so that was my only trade of the day. Uh, there were some other opportunities, like I said. Um, and I just, you know, it was, it was one of those kind of weird days where, um, you know, there was, there was news like right when I started and um, 
and then there was the FOMC minutes at 11 later in the day. And it was a down market, but it was just, you know, very sideways, you know, from market open. It was, it was sideways with a downward pressure, you know, it was like every time it tried to go up, it would get bumped down. And then the other thing I noticed too was, um, previous days lows, um, you know, once we worked under them, it just wasn't able to get back above the previous day low. So there are definitely some possibilities to maybe short somewhere around here. Um, and then once we got up here, there was some possible trades like this one I kind of liked um, here. I actually thought about taking this for a long right here. Um, but I just, you know, even though it was only for 11 ticks, I just wasn't totally comfortable trying to trade back into the opening price because sometimes that's resistance. But it had plenty of room. I probably should have taken it. That would have probably been another good trade. Um, but, you know, just taking it easy uh, first two days of the new year and 101 each day. And, you know, this still helps the cause moving towards um, getting uh, evaluations passed. And these uh, two accounts were my newest accounts that hadn't been traded on before. So got a day in, got a win in. Um, so, you know, it's all helpful. Uh, I would have liked to get a PA uh, trade today. Um, but I'm just, I'm not really willing to trade after like 10 o'clock or so, 1030 uh, Pacific time. So um, when it gets past that, you know, I feel like a lot of times the market starts doing traps and weird things and um, just kind of starts doing different things. So, uh, you know, just playing it safe and cautious for now and happy with the one win on these three accounts. And uh, not really much else to say. Uh, just going to continue doing what I'm doing here and we'll see how, how it goes as we move forward. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. 80% uh, discount still, still going on. Uh, you can use this code or any other. And uh, it's good till tomorrow at midnight. And then who knows when the next uh, sale will be. So if anyone's looking to pick up some evaluations using Apex, uh, right now is a great time to do it because we don't know when the next 80 or 90% discount will be. It's possible it won't be for a while since it's been about, I don't know, five or six weeks since the last good sale. So, you know, could be another month and a half, two months for all we know until there's another one. Uh, I might pick up one or two more. I might not. We'll just see how it goes. Anyway, uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Uh, like or subscribe if uh, you like the content. And we'll just keep seeing how these, how these accounts all do as I move forward. Thanks for watching.